I see. Treat me nice, please. Yes, indeed. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Several. I am back at it again, my dear. Yes, I am back at it for the remix. We in here for February. Yes, indeed. For February 2020. Yes, indeed. Show me the money season. Shout out to all my divine masculines out there. Y'all taking over. Okay, this is y'all's takeover season. So shout out to all my divine masculines getting it all together, getting right and tight for the 2020. Show me the money season. Yes, God. Okay. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my OGs. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and the subscribes. Um, thank you so much for um just engaging with me in the chat shout out to everyone if anyone wants to book a personal private reading only thing you need to do is click the about tab my pricing list is there and make sure that you um send me a message on instagram so we can do the video chat um reading if you don't have instagram or choose not to use instagram you can always connect with me for your personal private reading on google hangouts and only thing we need to exchange is our email so my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com that's how you connect with me on google hangouts Google Hangouts is an easy app to just download and it's free, all right? And we can communicate there for your video chat reading, all right? So if there's anyone that would like to um, send some love to the page, first off, I want to say shout out to everyone that sent any love to the page um, that supported me throughout 2019 as you can see the majority of the decks here were donated um by my collective gatherer so i thank you guys so much for all of your support that you um provide me with i really really do appreciate all of your love so if anyone wants to send some love to the page you can do so by the amazon wish list which you guys seem to like a lot um the cash app and the paypal is there if you want to send a dollar or two just to say thanks or appreciation if you guys want to send me an email be like reds this resonated with me blase blase blah if you don't feel comfortable with leaving a message in the chat or down in the comment section you can always feel free to email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com all right so pisces let's get into this energy my baby okay let's get into this energy baby okay so let's say a quick uh prayer father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of pisces thank you so much for elevating us thank you so much for creating us just so magnificently as you always do father god you had your hands all in the creation of us father god yes god let me try to tell you man um Man, we're just wickedly masterful in just everything that we do. Like, one thing I can tell you is Pisces is a very, very talented people. Very, very talented people, especially in regards to natures of the arts and just love and just things of that nature. You know, like, we are some, like, very, very um, creative people and some very, very... Um, just nurturing and intelligent people to just be around just could always give you just good insight but always give you um good advice and landful ear and just you know you just feel like you're just taking care of and just like in a balanced place with the pisces so we just thank you so much for just calming and cooling our waters you know what i'm saying and making things like a lot more easy for us to just you know pass through and just get to where we're going um it just seems like things have just kind of calmed down in our life. And we just thank you so much for like this just easy passage. So um, I thank you so much. Please give us guidance for today and every day. And we pray. Amen. All right. So let's get into this, Pisces. Let's get into this. Let me do a quick shizuffle. Okay. Let's do a quick shuffle. All right. All right, I see my men right on the top there. Ooh, sexual union, okay. What else we got? We got sexual union. All right, so let's do this. So sexual union, it says, honor the place in one another uh, where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay. Sexual union. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Pisces. Treat me nice, please, baby. Good gracious. You like you about to take someone down. I just heard downtown. <laughs> That's the way to my love. Take me round and round. 
Ooh, you can't stop till you find my love oh, downtown. <laughs> the taste, see, that's the we love. That's the love that you've been dreaming of. Yes, come on, Pisces. Hold on, y'all. I gotta get my cards together. Y'all, excuse me. Because <laughs> I just, I cannot just throw my cards just down like anything, girl. Mm -mm. No, I sure enough cannot. So it looks like someone is, um, someone seems to be very, very good at, 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 at oral pleasure. Just like downtown. I'm just really good. It. It's just like exploring someone's whole body, just like tasting their whole body, just desiring someone's whole body, just like their body making someone weak, you know what I'm saying? Like that sexual desire, that sexual passion, that urge for someone. It says you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoils. A blessing will soon be revealed, okay? might be a peace coming to a situation and it might be healed through some sexual union you guys it says if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to your soul so basically it's more than just sex i want to definitely say that it's more than just sex I, I i feel like that needs to be said because someone thinks that someone is just wanting sex and that's not what it is it's like you got to understand when someone is really really tapped in you yes of course you are going to have that sexual desire and that sexual urge and water signs do have a bad way of making it seem like we just like sex and it's just all about sex no but water signs really do like express their self through their emotions and their passions and sometimes they express their self in bed and, 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 and through sex so I feel like someone definitely feels like sex is the remedy here but at the same time there's something here that happened in a situation in a connection where uh as unfortunate as whatever tower moment happened, it was meant to be that way. It was meant to be that way for growth, for elevation, um, for someone to really understand the true level of passion and desire that they truly have for um, for their self and for others. It's like, you know, you can't really get to where you're going and express yourself in the most helpful and tasteful way if you don't know who you are truly and what you truly want and I really do feel like this could be someone that might have had issues with not knowing what they really really wanted and kind of just might have just been about sexual comfort and healing and intimacy and, and, and it might not have been too much more backing that but um whoever this person is that went through this moment in their life this tower moment where something occurred in their life where they're just now getting their sexual urges they're just now getting their sexual passions back you know um don't make decisions so much off of I'm not going to say don't make decisions off of logic because you always got to think about what you're doing because you got to have a a balance of both you can't just go off of the heart all the time and you can't just go off of the mind you got to have balance of both and look that's the star right here that is the star that's like truly knowing who you are knowing your heart's desires like wishing on the star like manifesting being guided by spirit being guided by faith like you know pouring that energy into everyone that's around you like being a shining star like really shining in your element being true to your form and things like that like this person i feel like in the past might not have truly knew who they were what glow the shine the radiance the energy and how to balance that energy and realize that their energy literally pours onto everyone around them and like did this person didn't know that before like now they are the star they are the milk and honey they are the abundance they are the light the moon the stars that they understand like all of that at different points of the days different times in their life they're everything and everything everything in all things and now they know how to be that balanced person and I want to say just kind of like kind of have faith in the future and 
But this person really, really has faith in just like better things to come in the future. Like, yeah, through term oil, I definitely learned a valuable lesson. I feel like someone learned about their heart desires. I feel like they learned about their sexuality. They had spiritual growth. They had elevation. They learned about, like I said, the sun, the moon, the birds, the bees, the trees, the stars, the grass, how to plant seeds, how to manifest, like how to vibrate. Like that's what this person did, you know, and it's truly about having that balance of the heart, mind and the soul. You can't just be all one of mine. You can't be all of just one of just faith. You can't just be all of just one of just going off of your heart's desires. It all has to be in unison here. What is this, the Queen of Pentacles? Yes, God. You have people bowing to you, kissing your feet, honoring the ground that you walk on. They see your radiance. They see your elements. You represent like life you represent wealth you represents like nourishment you represents balance you represent hard work and endurance and just like you know everything that is rich everything that is pure everything that is prosperous like that's what they see in you like you are the gold you are the milk and honey it's somebody that's Someone, it's like, I, I'm, I just heard I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't know how to act. <laughs> I'm bringing sexy back. These motherfuckers don't know how to act. Like, who in the hell is this? Like, something happened in your life. You're ready to express yourself sexually. You're purring. I feel like you're purring. It's like they're answering. It's like nature is answering to your call. I don't know if you've ever had. I don't know if this is someone going through their sexual peak right now. It's like they're able to express their self sexually. Like they know what they want, what they don't want. You know, um... They gotta listen to their mind, but they gotta listen to their heart as well. It says, if you do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So right now is more time to listen to your heart. I feel like you are demanding all of this attention. Like you are the star. Like you are like Queen Sheba. Like I just feel like it's people that are groveling at your feet. They want you to like pour down your milk and honey on them. Like they just want to bask. The Nine of Pentacles as well. It's like whoever is around you like they're willing to take whatever you got like it doesn't matter if it's a lock of hair it doesn't matter <laughs> like i just i don't know like, i really don't like this car because i don't like the fact that this man is stealing her hair but it's like it's like this person it's like they just want to take a momentum of you so even when they're not around like they could just see that beautiful rich red hair like you just like flossing it's just like I don't know. It's like you are like hypnotizing people for whatever reason. Cause you see how like even how she's just laying, you see how she's arching her body up. Like you were just sexually expressing yourself in a way where I feel like you are like so hypnotizing to these people. You are just like they want to take a little piece of you home. So even when they not around you, they could just smell a lock of your hair. It's like you are like the clothes that you wear, the car that you drive, your profession, the way that you carry yourself, it screams like luxury luxury. What is this? The tower. But it's like like okay, so the tower. This is like I feel like this is unexpected for you. And it might be kind of unexpected for someone else. I feel like it might enrage someone that other people are like desiring you in this way. And that you are kind of not on a sexual prowess. Because I don't want to say on a sexual prowess. But it's like you are very, I, I don't know if like maybe in, this, in, in the past, like you were very meek and just kind of let the man take control or something like that. And you were very passive and 
Like now you just are like, well, this is what I want. And I want to look like this. And I want to drive this. Like whatever it is that you're manifesting, it's like you know how to use your energy and pay attention to like the nature around you and call it in like your wishes are being granted you know what i'm saying financially successfully the queen of pentacles and then the nine of pentacles it's like on your own like you are beasting out here and i don't i don't think that it's something look, there you go again look at you arching your back taking that dick like like girl you was out here like i don't know it's like your confidence in the way that you're carrying yourself and it almost makes a one one kill somebody because it was like you wasn't like that with me. Like when the fuck you start getting all like that and now you getting all this money and things like that. Like, oh, what is this? The temperance. It's the God in me. Hey, it's the God in me. They think we're so fresh. They think we're so clean. Look, what is it that you think that you see in me? What is it that you think that you see in me? You think that this shit just came out of thin air? You think that all of these blessings, all of this beautiful shit just came for me? No, baby, I worked hard for this. I prayed over this. I had to literally, like, strip myself naked and come to God bare. I had to come to, I had to clean myself of all of the old shit that was no longer serving me. I had to come to God humble, bare, and naked. Do you understand? And say, God, continue to cleanse me and do with me as you will because I'm ready to go on my path. I've learned my lesson. I'm ready to really walk on the path that you desire me to be on, you know? Do with me as you will. I'm open and I'm ready to receive every single thing. Do you understand? It's like I want to have more confidence. Do you see yourself? I want to have more confidence. I want to be more happy. I want to travel more. I want to live more. I want to have more like gayful experiences. I just want to live. Do you understand? Like I want everything around me to live and flourish and just blossom and just glow. Like I want to be the star. Like that's what this person like was praying for. That's what this person does. And it's like every time like this person continues to go and get this refill. It's like can I get a refill? Okay? Can I get a refill? Listen, you go and get a refill from God. All of the stuff that you praying and you hoping for, you take your little spiritual baths and all this little stuff like that, baby, and then you go and pour all of that faith, all of that hope, all of that joy, all that prosperity, all of that rich, glorious, abundant <laughs> juice and just warmth, and you pour it on everything that comes in your path, baby, and you just watch it shine. You just watch it shine. That's why you sitting back like that. That's why they groveling at your feet, baby. That's why they look going back home sniffing locks of your hair. You're like, go ahead, baby. Go ahead, baby. Take it. You go ahead and take a piece. It's cool. You understand? It's like these these people are just like, and it's like I don't even think that you even see or paying attention to whoever it is that's behind your back that's like upset about this glow up tour that you've been on, baby. But it's like you are just like kicking ass and taking names, baby. And it's like you will really ooh release your ex. It's like it's someone that is like still like not releasing you it seems like because i definitely see you you doing your thing here is someone still like panting over you a little bit because i feel like you have like changed your wardrobe you changed your wardrobe like even the way you walk the way just like everything about you is totally different listen chemistry you got, listen, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Like, you have this magnetic attraction where you have people groveling at your feet. And your people from your past, they are, like, panting and fainting. Like, what the fuck did I do? Like, <laughs> I, I stopped fucking with this motherfucker at the wrong time. I ain't know that they was going motherfucker grow up like this. I, and then I'm just hearing, like, I don't know if, like, maybe in the past, like, you were just real natural. I don't know if now you're getting, like, the little lace fronts. Like, you're now into, like, lace friends and stuff like you don't be feeling like doing all the stuff with your hair all the time you still wear your hair but sometimes you do just go and fuck them up you know you do just go and fuck them up look your finances and your career is all the way up everything is good you collecting and gathering a cute coin do you understand there's an unrequited love though here let's see what the hell is going on with that shall we let's see what's going on with that because i'm nosy 
Let's see what's going on with this unrequited love. Give us guidance here on this unrequited love here, please. Thank you very much. Give me guidance. What is this? The Knight of Swords in the Reverse. So the Knight of Swords in the Reverse. This is someone that's had a loss of control here. Do you understand? So I definitely feel like this is someone that clearly is looking at you. And look at you. Look at you. <laughs> like, look at you, girl. Like, I don't know if you just, like, online, just, like, you are very confident and just, like, out there about this new person that you are. Like, you be posting these little sexual memes and shit, and, like, maybe you never used to do shit like that before. Like, you just really just motherfucking came the fuck on out, and someone is very... <laughs> upset about that because in y'all's connection there is no connection anymore like and this person is just upset because they're just like she just doing all of this or he just doing all of this and they don't give a fuck about who's looking and who's paying attention it's like yeah I don't give a fuck because I'm grown and shit I can motherfucker talk about sex I could talk about wanting to be choked and all of this shit like that. It's just a fucking meme. Like, shut the fuck up. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, whoever it is, like, that has this problem, I don't really feel like they would say anything because at the end of the day, I feel like they would get cussed out in public if they was to say something. The hangman. Do you understand? Like, this person is spying on you. You see how you hung up? It's like you are seeing things from a totally different perspective. You feel more sexy. You feel more vibrant. And like I said, this person is panting over you. They are spying. They are watching you. They are holding on to every single fucking morsel of this chocolate, delectable, fucking a uh, tow house cookie. Do you understand? You was out here looking like a whole fresh out the oven tow house cookie, bitch. I'm trying to tell you. Like, someone is very hung up on your pictures. They masturbate to you. Not to be very grateful, but y'all know my page. I don't give a shit. Okay, listen. Someone is like, I don't know if y'all got y'all body together. Y'all done got some body work done or something. I don't know if someone just got a tummy tuck or something like that. Someone did something. A breast lift. And then you are again with these goddamn um um restraints on you. Like, I don't know if you into this whole new kinky thing. Like, you into talking about all this kinky shit. And this motherfucker like, goddamn, I didn't know this bitch was into all of this motherfucker shit. Like, the five of swords or something. Like, this motherfucker is pissed T-fuck off. Okay? <laughs> like, listen. This motherfucker is pissed off off to the level where they ready to fight somebody do you understand what i'm saying it's like watch this motherfucker because it's like they might be watching the people that you dating and like plotting on them and shit like that it's like i don't like this motherfucker Ooh, listen and then they go to four cups it's like they're there it's like this person is seeing you getting all of this attention, all of this action and stuff like that. Whoever you're with is really desiring you. They give you a lot of attention. You are dressing very sexy. You have a lot of sex appeal with you. You are like glowing up to the like motherfucking, I don't even, to the 10th power. You don't blew up to the 10th power. Okay, your body is looking right, your confidence is together, and it's like, this person just feels like they kind of stab their own self in the back. It's like, how did I stick, how did I stick the sword in my, own, like, I stabbed my own self in, in my own foot. It's like, they can't even walk towards you because of something that they've done, almost. Do you understand? It's like, they have to be tortured by watching someone that, it's like, I don't. And, and I'm, I'm being told to tell you, whoever this is, like, you're wondering this unrequited love, why this person wasn't like this with me. You didn't make me feel this way. This is what this person is telling me. You, you did not make me feel this way. You didn't want to take me out. You didn't want to do any of this shit. You wanted to do all of this manipulative shit. Like, you made it more pleasure. No, they make it more pleasure than pain. Do you understand? And now you're receiving more pain than pleasure because the only thing you can do is sit here and look at it and be tortured by it. And then you got the world card and then the full card. Baby, listen to me. All right, there's most definitely a distance. And look at this woman. Do you see this woman? I'm trying to tell you this woman is like, I don't know. 
she is in a sexual climactic glow okay climactic glow do you understand this girl i don't know she wake up every day like stroking herself purring like her her kitty is just purring like she is just listen i am here baby okay I never even knew I could be here like this, but bitch, I am fucking here. Listen, the magnetic attraction and chemistry here is strong, baby. This person is already aware that if they was to come forward, that they is a very strong chance that they would be rejected. Do you understand? She's like, go that away. Go home, Roger. You see that scissors? You see all that? Oh, honey, I did that cord cutting a while ago. That's why I'm looking like this. You see me looking like this, baby? You see how I'm looking, how I'm looking? Yes, I'm cooking how I'm cooking. And I'm booked and busy, bitch. I don't have you to do. Booked and busy. Okay? My man keep me busy. Okay? I'm always with my man. I am always desired. I am always required at all giving time of the day. I have no time even for this conversation. Go this way and get on my face. Thank you very much. Baby, my world has moved on. Okay? I'm trying to tell you, baby. Motherfuckers, like, literally eat strawberries off my puss and goddamn grapes off my tits and ass, honey. I am a whole smorgasbord. This boy eat me like I'm a whole smorgasbord after Sunday church, bitch. Okay? At Shoney's, bitch. At IHOP, bitch. Okay? At the International Goddamn House of Puss. Okay? That's what this is. This nigga eat me up all day. Okay, I don't have time for this. When I could be laying down getting my listen, um, eat. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what Luke can say? Eating my pussy while I watch cartoons. Okay, all right. I'm sitting back getting my pussy ate while I watch cartoons, baby. Eating a great fruit salad with watermelon. Okay, strawberries. Uh, pineapples, all this good shit. My man, make sure I got a good balanced diet. We go work out together. Like, we're moving. Like, uh, like I don't even live. Like, what? What are you talking about? Like, it's... <laughs> I just don't eat, girl. Like, listen. Listen. I can't believe this ain't butter, baby. You are so parquet, baby. Listen, I can't believe it ain't butter, baby. Listen, you are parquet. I got the real, real rich butter, baby. Listen, I told you, we don't do nothing fake around here, baby. My nigga done bought me the real diamonds, okay? The real diamonds, okay? He done went and found me 24 karat gold, baby. This is solid. This is something that ain't going nowhere. This is something that's going to last a long time. You think I put this energy out here to be playing around, baby? I don't come out here to play, baby. I come out here to slay, okay? Study wrong, study long. You slap, baby. Listen, you slap. You slap. Bye. The fuck? The fuck? Y'all just make me murk all the way the fuck out on this. <laughs> like, what? What? Sometimes when you go through turmoil and you go through situations, you learn a lot. And it can be the best transition in your fucking life. It can be the best transition. Listen, pause for the cause, baby. It's time for someone to have a pause moment in reflection, okay? I'm going down. I'm going down. Because you ain't around, baby. My whole world's upside down, bitch. Okay, you need to pause, baby. I don't give a fuck about your world being upside down, okay? All right? Sleep, don't come easy. Oh, please believe me. Since you've been gone, everything's going wrong. Baby, everything been going right in my life, okay? Watch, I had to say goodbye. Look what you done to me. Okay, they can't stop these tears from falling from their eyes, baby. Listen, we don't care. Because he's going down, downtown. That's the way to my love. Take me round and round. Ooh, you can't stop till you find look there's two different downtowns. <laughs> this one going down. This one is going down. So I told you, listen, eating my pussy while I watch cartoons. <laughs> I am reloaded, load up the gap. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Someone is living their best ass fucking life and someone is like, Mr. Robot. Oh my dear Jesus Christ. 
have mercy fresh start there won't be a fresh start like it like whoever this is that got put on pause like you might as well just dig that seed up and go replant that shit somewhere elsewhere on better fertile ground because that shit is not growing here you have been put on a permanent pause put in like i don't know what to tell you material world like you need to focus on your material world and just like invest in your future do you understand and like stop putting your life on hold focusing on someone that clearly stopped putting their life on hold focusing on you like they realize and process the situation for what it is and it looks like they moved on do you understand all right so like i feel like this is the advice for you to do the same it's like it's time for you to pause and focus on really trying to build a fresh start in the material world something that is really going to um look and, and it's also telling you that you need to like literally like, you got the key to come to your own conclusions about the situation. Like, if you want to sit there and continue to make yourself miserable, you can. Listen, the cycle here is something that was a lesson. I don't, you know, like, it was a lesson. Like, I don't give a fuck if y'all got kids with each other. I don't give a fuck if y'all known each other since. I don't give a shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whatever it is, it's not growing here. It's not going to grow. You need to come to your own conclusions about that and focus on your material world and things that really are going to bring value to your life. You understand? We all go through these cycles of life and you need to like, you know, like really learn from whatever this experience is right here. And it says metamorphosize. So it's like, it's, it's like you need to understand what you needed to learn from this cycle and be able to replant in the material world so that you can like see the fruits from these valuable lessons do you understand what i'm saying because it was a very valuable lesson here you you slept on somebody slept on someone do you understand and it was a tower moment there was something that ended that began something very beautiful for someone else it, it, it taught someone growth it taught someone how to be in their own element how to be a star how to believe in their self how to love their self because the only way that you could really carry yourself like that like you gotta love the shit out of yourself like regardless of anybody like i'm carrying i'm attracting this type of energy because of the way i love myself and the way that i'm doing my thing so give me guidance for this person look fifth dimensional do you understand like this person like when they're in the 3D, they are able to like vibrate on a high level, on a high frequency because when they sleep, it's like they're in a whole nother dimension. They're in the fifth dimension where they're getting spiritual downloads. They're getting like a chance to look at their self from the outside and look in and see things from a different aspect. Remember, I told you like this person is getting a different vantage point. So I feel like this person in their crossroads, this person is at a crossroads of their life. Do you understand? Like this person is on their path. Do you understand? This person is on their spiritual path. Okay. And this person is at a crossroads in their life where they're making a lot of decision on their progression and their growth. Do you understand what I'm saying? The answer is no here. Do you understand? The answer is no. Whatever it was that you thought was going to grow here, it's not. Again, the situation is dry. Do you understand? There's a barrier. This person has placed a barrier there. And um, you might be trying to cross over and um, communicate with this person in like the 5D and like dreams and things like that. Or like telepathy or like any type like this person might be trying to um tap in to this person's dream space that's what i'm getting because i don't really feel like they have um any skills to do anything else but it's like this person is like wanting to get some type of clarity and closure i don't know why they want clarity and closure because you created the clarity and closure and it's like, but still, it's like they're at this crossroads with this person still wanting to answer. Like, you know, can I come back in your life? Like, no, <laughs> no. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. So even if you contact me in a, in, in a 3D, in a, in a 4D, in a 5D, in a, I don't give a damn what fucking D, bitch. Like, no, there's a barrier and there's nothing to fucking say. Like, I really don't feel like this person has anything to say. This person has a problem with commitment and that, that's not accepted here. And that's why that barrier is there. 
So, it just is what it is, but I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Do you understand? Like, this person is not willing to commit any time, energy at all. Like, it's an unrequited love. Do you understand? So, the only thing you can do is sit there and watch me shine. Like, honestly, like, I'm sorry that you even putting yourself through that motherfucking torture. Like, you need to motherfucking stop that shit. Give me guidance. What is this? A letter. Like, this is like some communication i feel like it's having to be done by spirit because it's like this person doesn't want to talk to you at all do you understand so um it's like i don't it's like i'm rescinding your invitation so it's like i don't know if some it's like a barrier so there's a block look fright i'm trying to tell you like this it <laughs> This communication is blocked. So if someone has been trying to communicate with the person over here, the star, like, baby, you, you are blocked. You are blocked. The Grim Reaper has spoken. Like, this is, like, ruined, is done, disintegrated, stop being in denial about it. It just is what it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, um... It's like, and, and I'm not even going to like lie, I feel like this person kind of wishes negative energy on you a little bit, because like, they kind of hate you, I want to say, like, so I don't want to, I don't want to be mean like that, but it's like, you've had your time to communicate and say whatever you wanted to say, and you never said it, so it's like, death becomes you, like, I don't want to care, you know what I'm saying, like, they look at you like you are like a curse on their life or something like that important revelations do you see what I'm, it's like she's like her finances or his finances and success and material wealth and spiritual wealth and just everything is just gone up so it's like this might be an important revelation for you to see how this person has just like their life is so solid and secure without you you understand so it's like you see, i feel like this person is like telling this carrier like what to say tell this motherfucker to leave me alone and like stop it like you know what i'm saying like like tell this motherfucker that they blocked and just like you're not going to get a piece of anything that has anything to do with me so just leave me the fuck alone you see she's like like leave me the fuck alone and tell this motherfucker um shit i just heard something about taxes it says something about pay your taxes what is this a trip out the country. Yes, <laughs> pay your taxes because I'm trying to take a trip out the country. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> bro. Like, I don't know. Especially if this is someone that I don't know. <laughs> Brother. And in the city house. God damn. God damn. God damn. This motherfucker ain't playing. Shit. This motherfucker said... The four of diamonds, the four clubs, and the four goddamn hearts. Like, this motherfucker died, goddamn, is it is a triple whammy just killed and slayed your whole life. Like, do you understand? Not only am I traveling and my business and my finances is secure as a motherfucker, I'm waiting for you to file your taxes so I can snatch that motherfucker shit because I got a trip out the country that I'm about to take. And, bitch, I'm about to move to the city as well. Like, my whole fucking life is together. So, like, I don't know, like, what the fuck you thought that you was doing when you slept on me and you decided to go on wherever the fuck you was going. I'm glad that you destroyed that shit and fucked that shit up because you motherfucking made the best decision for me. Okay? Because I was able to see my worth, okay? The fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Please file your taxes so I can get that money too. Please, listen. Please file your taxes so I can get that money. Fuck is wrong with you? Fuck. I'm trying to go out, the, I'm trying to go out of town with my boo. Okay? So I don't know where the fuck you mistaken at. Okay, I don't know where you mistaken at. I am secure. My finances is secure. My job is secure. I can travel. I can save. You know what I'm saying? I got savings. Listen, my home life is secure. All right? Got a fancy new luxurious environment and shit like that. I'm getting my boots knocked the fuck off. Like, this bitch is fucking. This nigga is fucking. Four hearts means somebody is having a lot of goddamn sex. Do you understand what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. 
Listen, whoever this is, fuck out of here. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, bitch, okay? Like she said, or like he said, shawty going downtown. I told you, that's the way to my love. Take me around and around. Ooh, you can't stop till you find my love. Go downtown. This motherfucker about to move downtown. Okay? That part. That part. So listen, I don't know who the fuck this is. Like, you need to get over it. Get over it, hunty pudding pie. Do you want a jello pudding pop? No, nigga. Want no motherfucking goddamn doped up goddamn Cosby pudding pop, bitch. You motherfucking. And then they tell and then now they saying niggas a fucking dope boy. So it's like I don't, I don't know like what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Like I don't know if you always be doped up or some shit like that. Like your ass always high, drunk or some shit, or you just like a low grade fucking street dope peasant or some shit like that. No, no, no. We out here getting real rich. Listen, people don't even realize you make more money the legal way than you will ever make it illegally. You understand? Know saying that's temporary money. We talk about long money, longevity, bitch. This person got long money, longevity. Do you understand what I'm saying? Manifesting on stock going far bitch anyway Pisces I'm the fuck out of here y'all just did me bitch I'm outie y'all hit that like button if y'all want a book of reading y'all make sure that y'all hit that about tab man hit me on Instagram I'm out peace